What do, bro, when I graduated from, uh, from Wiley College with a 3.9 GPA, starting at a PWI, when I first applied to Johns Hopkins, you know what they told me? Your, your credits are not coming from a school that we deem is strong enough of they have a strong enough curriculum for you to make a strong transition from your HBCU to our prestigious school, aka Johns Hopkins. You know, this is a fact. Mm -hmm. They told me that I needed a a medi a, a medium a medium school, a med a, a middle school, a transfer school wow. that I can go to a bigger PWI, uh. so that I can get accepted to Johns Hopkins. So guess what I did? I went to Texas A and M Commerce. I got a 3.8 GPA in my first semester at uh, uh, Texas A&M Commerce. Y'all can look it up. The, the credits are still there. Call the school. Dr. Jake was there. <laughs> and then I reapplied to Johns Hopkins, and they accepted me. Bro, it ain't the education. Hmm. It's, it's the environment. Bro, the, first of all, we got to understand what a bachelor's degree is supposed to be for. The bachelor's degree is not for a specialty of knowledge. The bachelor degree is for analysis of, uh, so you can understand analysis, comprehension. You understand what research is. You know how to juggle uh, multiple different projects at one time and still get a result. Then it also means now you know how to juggle your work life, which is school, with your personal life, which is like fun and organizations and all of that, along with deductive reasoning, along with understanding consequential decision making. That's what your bachelor's degree for. The bachelor's degree, bro, they're taking a bunch of crazy people, like all of us, <laughs> from different schools, different environments, different education systems, and bringing everybody in the same class at the same time. It's to filter people out. Mm. The masters and the PhDs are for those who are specialists. Those are people that understand what they want to do. I changed my degree five times in undergrad. The average person changes it three times. So it ain't about that. It's about the basis of education at a higher level to let, uh, to let jobs know that you have the basic skill sets to be able to do the entry level work. That's what it's for. And also for networking, social skills, improving that. And what I will tell you without a shadow of a doubt, if it were not for an HBCU, I wouldn't know what my leadership capabilities were. And I damn sure wouldn't have known, Jonathan, that my leadership capabilities were able to transfer from the court to the boardroom if it were not for me being at an HBCU that said, hey, we're under-resourced, people don't come here, you got to have more in your tool belt than just shooting a basketball. Mm. So, we, yeah, so PWIs, yeah, they give you the good life. But HBCU show you your real life. And if you can thrive and you can succeed there and you can go and do amazing things, well, God daggone it, you're going to be something great. And I can tell you one thing, all of the greatest black people in the world that we know of, the majority of them came from an HBCU. Now, you do the math to that. You do the math. You can't say Robert F. Smith because he went to a PWI, sure. But he was funded a billion dollars to start his fund. He didn't start from scratch. He don't have the same respect I got for somebody that literally started from the ground up and grew and built something. The people that changed our culture came from HBCUs, big fella. Nothing else. Ain't nothing more to it. All right. All right. They're, they're the plug for the HBCU. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so make sure. Sorry for my aggression, bro. No, no, it's good. I welcome it. Now, they better go ahead and take that clip and they better start showing that at when, when they raising their, yeah, you they know, better. doing the fundraisers. Yeah. Yeah, because they, hey, I, I, have, I have a different level of respect for HBCU, even though after the fact, you know, I went UT Tyler. Well, well it's, we weren't exposed to it. We weren't really exposed to, you, you, get, you get exposed to a PWI. And, and bro, and, and as an athlete, the type of level of um, pacifying that you get as an athlete, it's not realistic to a black and brown person in this real world. Mm. Bro, when I tried to join organizations at Wayland Baptist University, you know what they told me? You're a hooper. You play basketball. Mm. 
You're good there. When I went to Wiley College, you know what they told me? You're only a hooper. You only play basketball. You're only good there. You see the difference? <laughs> That's the difference, bro. That's the absolute difference. And when I talk about if I want to go pro, I'll go to a PWI. I mean, it makes sense. You get more spotlight. Mm -hmm. There's more dollars to put you on ESPN. Cool. But if I want to change my life and become somebody of value, I'm going to HBCU. And if you are as good as you say that you are, you can still go to HBCU, kill a game, and still make it to the league if you really built like that. That's very true. That's very true. All right, so talking about shifting and, and, and changing, changing our dynamic and changing our lives. So yeah. you, go from, you go from teaching, yeah. right? Teaching, uh, you know, doing, doing, doing the Lord's work, you know, with, with, with the kids. I don't they, know they, if they it's the Lord's work. <laughs> <laughs> so you go from teaching, pouring into the youth, yeah. right? We'll go with that, pouring okay. into the youth. And then as, as, as we matriculate through, I know, that's, I know that's one of your favorite words. That's my favorite yeah, word. They don't like when word. I say matriculate because black folk don't know the they word. They don't understand it. They don't yeah, understand the definition. You got to understand what, what's, what's, the, what's the definition. So when we talk about matriculate, it's to enter into. It's to get enrolled into. Yeah. It's to journey through. So when we're matriculating through something, yeah. that means I am journeying through. I'm enrolling through. Yeah. <laughs> So, so as you as you matriculate through, right, yeah. and then <laughs> the part about like for 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 me and, and what I really uh, saw and I was like this really like blew my mind with, with you was the part about the I guess I want to say financial literacy, yeah, right, and the in in the the private banking aspect, yeah. 